Hi everybody, time for a quick look inside Vancouver Public Schools. I'm Nick Vole. The last time the Fort Vancouver boys soccer team made the state playoffs was 1988. One year later, coach Juan Mendoza was born, and this year he has led them back to the playoffs after 34 years. Mendoza is in the first year as a high school coach. He knew he had to get kids to buy into his team concept. I know there's talent at Fort. Um, I've seen it. It's just how can we get these guys to play together as a team? Priority number one, accountability. And we started that with making sure there were students first, athletes second, and that's what we pushed from the beginning. If you weren't in class, if you weren't making grades, you, can't, you couldn't practice, you couldn't, you were taking care of your school stuff first. And once everyone kind of saw that like, okay, we're, this is for real, he's not gonna let me practice, he's not gonna let me play, then everything kind of, everyone started buying in because everyone was held to that same standard. Priority 1A, figure out everything else a high school coach has to know. Enter Dave Schaefer, a teacher at Fort who just finished his first year as the girls coach. I wanted to do whatever I could to make that a seamless transition. Another assistant coach, Jorge Tovar, joined and bit by bit, the trappers started figuring it out. We started gradually getting better because I mean it's only our first year playing with each other. Uh, but throughout the year we started progressing a lot. They started winning games as a team. We have good team effort, we have chemistry, which is important in a team. We all get along, it's just a good vibe around here. Before long, it dawned on them that they had a shot. Uh, like the time we beat, uh, like, let's just say Ridgefield, Washugo, they were all pretty good teams. And uh, when I was just thinking about it, I'm just, think, I'm just saying to myself, like, we could actually make this, you know. They hosted the district playoffs. And that was huge, just seeing all the support, the boys seeing that people are here encouraging them. In this community, everyone surrounding us, I think they all look towards us, and I think it was really, really cool to finally uh, give them something back. After beating Ridgefield 2-0, the Trappers clinched something almost unthinkable at the beginning of the year, a state playoff berth. Against a tough East Valley team, Fort lost in the first round, but they're already thinking about next year. Obviously a first round loss in the state is not, it's not ideal, but I think it's definitely a step to get there. And I, de I guess uh, next year we really want to make it far into that state tournament and just become a state team for the school. Hopefully by next year we're able to go to state, hopefully become state champions. It can only go up from here. For senior leader Morlai Cisse, the soccer journey continues. He immigrated to Vancouver from Sierra Leone and will play at Clark College next year. It's a, it's a dream come true. It's something that I really want for my, uh, since, we, since I started high school. I would definitely like to go to college and get a degree in, uh, in social, um, social work or psychology and then I can go back home and then take care of whatever things I have to go back and help my people. I'm pretty sure they need me and they need my help. For the coaching staff and returning players, it's back to the grind, making Fort Vancouver the best it can be. The, the kids that we have on the team, I think, are representative of the kids that we have in the school. And they're just, they're great kids. They're just ready to learn, and it's an exciting place to teach and coach, so. So maybe the moral of the story is that it doesn't matter how much individual talent you have. If you're going to get anywhere as a team, you've got to play together. Inside Vancouver Public Schools, I'm Nick Vole.